Testing, testing, one, two. Test, test. Testing. It was so loud. Test. Test. Yeah, that's good.
test. Test. Testing one, testing two, testing one, testing two. Test, test. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Upper Dublin Basketball here at the UD Gymnasium. I am CJ Ambrose alongside Brian Portney. So for Upper Dublin, it is the normal lineup. Taking the tip is Noah Schulzer for Hepper Horseman. As the ball starts out of bounds already. We're already getting a small conference for the call, and they're going to call it Hepper Horsham's way. And that's a tough one, tough break for Upper Dublin. Inbounding the ball for Hepper Horsham will be Kyle Dittis. Dittis going to give it off now to Sam Fink. Fink. Star player here for Hapro Horsham, while Upper Dublin has one of their best defenders, if not their best, Chris Coburn are on him. They're trapping near the near out of bounds. Now back with it is Fink, wanting to travel. Was Upper Dublin not going to get it? Fink finally dribbles. He gives it off. Didis, he now gave it back, and now it's over again. A lot of ball movement here to start off. 30 seconds down, no shot up yet. Hapro Horsham, very contentious to move the ball around, trying to find a good shot. Shot is up, and it banks off, 
It bricks off the front of the rim, taking it DJ Cerisier. Cerisier giving it, and that's a scramble for the ball that's going to stay up for Dublin's. You got to like the physicality right there for Upper Dublin just wanting to go into the. They won the ball. There they go. Screen there set by Griffin Pensabean. Pensabean gives it to Colin O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, he gives it off to Chris Colebrenner. Colebrenner, he's going to give it to the center. Kukla, Kukla back to DJ Cerisier. Screen set off ball for the, for the sophomore right there. Colebrenner not going to be able to do anything with it. Now with it, O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan back out to Kukla. Kukla gives it off to Cerisier. Back to O'Sullivan. The three to start off. It goes in. Upper Dublin starting with the tray. And starting off with a bang. Colin O'Sullivan, you know, he just got that offer from Cornell. His first D1 offer. Now with it is Sam Fink. Fink, he's very good driving inside. They're going to call no foul. That's blocked by O'Sullivan. But then it's stolen away by Schulzer. Schulzer gave it away. Now driving inside, kicked out. Moving the ball around to Fink. Fink has it. He's totally covered, and they're going to call a reach there on Chris Colbrenner. Intercepted pass right there, and uh, just an unlucky foul. And now, here's Hapro with it. Hapro Horsham with it, trying to inbound it, and it's knocked by Colbrenner. Going to stay Hapro Horsham's way. Hapro Horsham, they come into Upper Dublin 1 and 9 on the season, but they've won one out of their last three, trying to turn it around right here in Upper Dublin. Upper Dublin, meanwhile, they come in. Very strong. They split at the uh, Westchester tournament last week. They're trying to keep the momentum going. Cerisier, he's on coverage. Kick it back out to the top of the key. Now they're going to give it to Fink. Fink, behind the arc by around three feet. He gives it off. More and more passing. Now with it. Hapro Horsham driving inside, kicking back out. Looking for a mid-range shot. Not going to get it. Now they are going to get it. Baseline, Jay, not going to go. Double double ball now. There you're going for it. He's Griffin Pensbeam with the ball. With it now, it's Griffin Pensbeam. He gives it off to Chris Colebrenner. Colebrenner, he gives it to Cerisier. Cerisier, knifing inside. Layup off the glass, not going in. It's going to go upper Dublin's way. Great job by Upper Dublin. And, uh, Lucky call by the refs, maybe? Well, we are UD Media, so not going to complain about it. Something we say a lot here, don't we? It's going to be a foul now uh, on Upper Dublin or some sort of violation. Had my eye off the ball there for a second, so I should not do as a broadcaster. So with it, Hapro Horsham. Looking to inbound it, they do to Fink. Taking it up is Hapro Horsham. Fink going to get pressed full court by Colebrenner, who's played a solid game so far defensively. Might have gotten a hand on it. Now trying to get inside on the trap. They do. It's O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan going to save it. No, they're going to call it a push on Hapro Horsham. So it stays Upper Dublin's way. Beautiful play defensively by the Cardinals. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was really a great play, and they just kept the ball with them. DJ Cerise inbounded it, and with it now, Colebrenner. Colebrenner off to Kukla. Kukla back to Cerise. Cerise cuts inside, kicks out now to Griffin Pensabine. Pensabine going to give it to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan to Colebrenner, and they're going to call a moving pick on Cerise. That would have been a wide open shot for Colebrenner. Been a pretty defensive game so far. 3 5 um, into the first quarter, and only three points all from Upper Dublin. So no complaints there. With it now is Hapro Horsham. Once again, a full court press. Now a trap at half. Fink with it. He's covered very tightly by Cerisier. Now right on the Cardinal logo. Hapro Horsham has it. Driving inside. The layup, and that's going to be Hapro Horsham's first two points of the game, courtesy of Noah Schulzer. Upper Dublin moving quickly now in the post. O'Sullivan, little mouse in the house here. O'Sullivan shot. It's going to go off the back iron. Uh, nothing yet. Only... Uh the only scorer is from uh, 
Upper Dublin, they're looking to generate some offense. Same can be said for Hatboro Horsham with the score right now 3-2 to two through three minutes. Uh, and at three and a half minutes, I should say, as ball inbounded. Pence being sliding on the floor. It's going to be out of bounds on him. Beautiful play there, though. Trying to get the ball for Upper Dublin. Looking like Ricky Henderson with that slide. With it now is going to be Hatboro Horsham waiting to inbounding it. Waiting to inbound it. Upper Dublin, full court press. They're not going to call him out of bounds. So with it, Hapro Horsham. Taking it up half court now. Still tight defense. Schultz are with it. And now he gives it out. With it, number 25, Anthony Pamela. As it's going to be laid up and in, Hapro Horsham takes the lead. First lead change of the day. DJ Cerise has it. He gives it off to Chris Colbrenner. Colbrenner gives it off once again. Pensamine. They wanted Colbrenner there on the cut. He was not able to get open, though. Cerise, he has it. Going to kick it out to Kukla. Now Kukla just going to hand it off there to Pensamine. Pensamine back to Cerise. Cerise inside now with it. Kukla and the ball gets stripped away, but they're going to call a late, flat, a late foul there. Whoa, still in football mode on Pamelia. Yeah, I was still in football mode. Too, and I'm just glad that uh, Upper Dublin got the foul going their way. And now it's uh, Kukla's alarm. So seeing Kukla, he's going to go to the line 4-2. He is the lone senior in the starting lineup tonight. Sorry, Kukla is a junior, I believe, actually. I can check right here. On my handy dandy little note card, and yeah, seeing Kukla is a junior, so we still got another year for him. Yeah, the, no Lee, no Lee just came into the game. He is a senior. So with it now, Kukla, the second shot is up and in. Upper Dublin, they're gonna take the lead back off the good free throw shooting. Full court trap, and they're gonna say a push right there. Not happy about it is Pensabine. That is Mason Pensaby. Griffin comes out. Mason comes in. Now inbounding it again. Full court press. Pamelier. He's been the sole. He's been the primary ball handler, along with the man that has it right now, Sam Fink. Fink, the combo guard. Really tight defense from Colbrenner. Dive for the ball. Colbrenner steals it. Cerise has it on the fast break. He's going to go in, and it is blocked. That was Skull, sir. Uh, that was. Uh, Noah Skoser right there with the block. So Pamelia, he's covered by Noah Lee. Noah Lee, he's on defense. He's really a 3 and D guy, but he does everything very well. Uh, or he does his role very well, I should say. We're going to call a travel there. Shot doesn't count. Upper Dublin with the basketball. 5-4, 2-51 left here in the first quarter. And it's not a lot of scoring, but it definitely is entertaining. You wouldn't really put those two things in the same sentence, but yeah, it is. Chris Colbrenner, he has it. He's currently being covered by number 12, Kyle Dittis. Now with it, Noah Lee. Number one, Noah Lee. He's going to give it off to Mason Pensabine. Pensabine back to Colbrenner. Colbrenner, screen set there for Pensabine. He's going to be open there on the handoff. Pensabine gives it back to Colbrenner. Colbrenner fakes, now goes inside. Now to Seen Kukla. Seen, no shot, foul on the ground. Unlucky break right there. And if he did get the shot in, it would have been a three-point play, but they weren't looking for it right there. <coughs> Upper Dublin to make a substitution. So now Chris Colbrenner, he's going to be the one inbounding it. In for Upper Dublin comes number two, Coleman Zamborski. With it, Mason Pensamine. He's driving to the right. Kicks back out to Zamborski. Zamborski to Cerisier. Cerisier gives it off to Noah Lee. Noah Lee. Now back to Pensabine. Pensabine back to Lee. Playing hot potato with the basketballs. Upper Dublin. Pensabine. He gives it to Cerisier. Cerisier. Jab step. Jab step. Nothing. Upper Dublin still looking. Passing it around. We're down to the two-minute mark of the first quarter. Noah Lee. He's going to drive inside. Kick it out. Coleman Zamborski. The shot. 4-3 off the front iron and out. 
being a bit of an offensive stalemate between these two teams is unfortunate. But it, it's just about who's going to. And now with it, oh, passed out. And Bittis, no, not going to go. But the board by Hapro Horsham. Upper Dublin poking, fighting for the ball. It's loose as it's a jump ball. Waiting to see the call. Possession arrow, Hapro Horsham's way. You got to appreciate the fight, though, between these two teams. One side wanting to get the basket, the other side doing anything they possibly can to not have it. Shot for three. Did this? It is good. So Hapro Horsham takes the lead. Hepper Horsham, not a far drive away at all. They have a strong section here at Upper Dublin. Noah Lee, he gives it off to Colburner. Colburner to Cerisier. Cerisier plays most of the minutes of every single game for Upper Dublin. He is their main offensive threat. He's held at bay so far, though. Driving in Noah Lee off the, uh, off the glass and no good. So taking it now and waiting. Yeah, they're going to call it. A charge there on Hapro Horsham. And Upper Dublin, are they calling for a timeout? No. It looked like Monaghan wanted a timeout there. Instead, he's going to keep his boys out there with 51 seconds left. Cerisier, ball almost poked out. It's going to stay Upper Dublin's way. Didis wanted that one to go Hapro Horsham's. He thought it was. Mason Pensabine to inbound. Both teams are showing some fight right now. May not look that way, but it's definitely a physical battle. Cerisier, he has it. And now Colbrunner, risky pass there. Not able to be intercepted by Dittis. Colbrunner, he's going to get a well-timed screen. He's going to drive in. And he fumbles the ball, but they're going to say he was pushed out by Hatboro Horsham. Stays UD's way with 33.9 left. That is now five team fouls apiece, and we're only in the first quarter. Cole Brenner looking for someone. He's just going to give it inside to Pensamine, and that's as easy as it gets. A little two-foot layup there, up and in for Pensamine. Upper double knots it up at seven now. Remember, running clock here, so down to 20 seconds. Going to save it for the last shot. Is Happer Horsham, at least that's what you think they're going to do. Did his all, almost fumbles it. He's able to keep a Pamelia out to Fink. Sam Fink has it. 11 seconds. Out to Didis. Pamelia. It looks like they're going to give it to him for the last shot. No, they're not. Jumping. No, not going to get it. Two seconds here. Driving. Shot off the iron. So no good. Ball rims out. After one, it's an even match. Five fouls apiece. Seven points apiece. We're here at Upper Dublin through one. I'm CJ Ambrose with Brian Portney. We'll be right back after the quarter break. We're back here now in the second quarter. Brian, what did you think about that first quarter? Low scoring, but exciting. You don't really hear those two things in the same sentence, but this one truly is physical battle. The man that scored the first three points of the game now in, it's Colin O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, he has it, almost falls out. Noah Lee with it. Noah Lee looked like he wanted Cerisier, not able to find him. Pensabine with it as Lee hits the deck. Quickly back up, though. He's going to... Give it off to Cerisier. Cerisier, he wants to drive. No, he doesn't. He wants to give it off. 
Ball falls. Upper double with it. That's going to go up. That's going to go Harper Horsham's way. Because Upper double had the last inbound. Sorry, I got my possession arrow uh, confused there for a second. But, yes, it does go their way. Within his half row, Horsham. As he's going to be trapped, but gets it off to Familia. Familia, he hands it off. With it now is half row, Horsham. That was Krishan Avery with it. And now out of bounds, upper not wooden ball. Uh, no, half row, Horsham ball. Familia is able to keep it. He's also going to inbound it. Right in front of the student section. Never fun for the opposing team. But Pamelia does get it in. Head coach for this Hapro Horsham team is Rick Fidel. As they're going to call it on Upper Dublin student section. Motioning for a travel. As once again to inbound it. Pamelia Deja Vu here at Upper Dublin. Chris Goldbrenner, he's going to check in along with Kukla. And the freshman, Ryan Mulroy. Out will be Zamborski. Lee and DJ Cerise is going to take his first break of the day. With it is Pamelia. Pamelia, he's going to hand it off now to Avery. Avery dribbling, gives it off. Now back to Pamelia. Pamelia, he gave it away. Now still with it, shot. That's going to be off. Cole Brenner, he's going to get the board. Over under uh, 20 points in this quarter, what do you think? 20 points at the end of the quarter? Yes. Total or each team? Total. I'm going to take the over. I think we'll get six points. <laughs> so now with it, Mulroy, he gives it off to Kukla. Chris Colbrenner, he's holding it true for me. I told Chris earlier today, I said I expect 50 out of you, Chris. Well, he's part of the way there now with two. 50 starts with two, you know. Just simple math. Upper Dublin slamming buckets. Uh, Ryan slamming mics. As with it now is Hapro Horsham. Did as he gives it off. Trying to drive inside there was Schulzer. Schulzer gives it out to Didis, And they're calling a three-point foul there on Mason Pensabee. Uh, that's just an unlucky call, but it was, uh, it was behind the arc, so they have to call through. Didis, the shot, and it bricks off, so he might only be able to get two here. That over-under bet for, for Ryan, it looked, uh, for Brian, sorry, oh my goodness, looked in doubt, but uh, with that first miss, now will make it, might be doing a little bit better. A lot of arc, and he gets it. Scoreboard not yet updated. Oh, wait, there it is. So, 9-9 nine to nine now. All knotted up once again. Colbrenner, Mulroy, and still waiting for a call. Illegal screen there. They're going it on Mason Pensabine. Upper double and dead ball. Yep, they are going to get the sub. So, in comes Griffin, out goes Mason. Pensamine brothers make the swap again. Upper Dublin still pressing, and hey, only nine points for Harper Horsham with two of them coming from the line. It's definitely been working. With it is Schulzer. With it is Pamelia. Pamelia, he's working on O'Sullivan. Schulzer, he's being covered tightly by Colbrenner. With it is Avery. Krishan Avery, he gives it inside. Ball, it's going all around, scrambling, scrambling, nothing, Upper Dublin has it. Now way downfield, it's going to be O'Sullivan, a little reverse quarterback getting the catch. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's a reverse quarterback, it's a, like the Philly special, well, you know, basketball. And oh, ball goes out of bounds, Upper Dublin. So a little bit of bad news bearsness right here from Happer Horsham, as yeah, a smart timeout taken by them. We're also going to take a brief timeout ourselves. We'll be back right after this timeout.
So, Upper Dublin, they are going to inbound it. It's O'Sullivan. He gives it right over top to Kukla. Foul and one. Able to keep control through the shot. UD going to the line, trying to get it to five. He obviously got some carry momentum after the reverse quarterback and then the two points. And now the foul. <laughs> yeah, that's just great. Uh, here's Seaton Kukla. <laughs> and it's good. Uh-oh. You got to drop Mike here. All right. Here you go, Daniels with it now. Ah, uh, shit, it's, it's Gosler. Oh. I don't even know who's with it right now. Pumilia. Pumilia with the ball. Yeah. Pumilia over to uh, it's Gosler. <laughs> so, uh, some, t <laughs> some t technical difficulties there. We're going to hand it over to Zachariah Holman while we gather ourselves here. Well, guys, it's been a great game so far. Um, Upper Dublin's definitely got some good momentum going, scoring the last five points. It looks like a timeout will be called by, called by Upper Dublin, it looks like. Um, and We're going to take a much-needed timeout here up at the booth. Back from break now, Upper Dublin, they have it as Brian, myself, and our entire camera crew, all, all of them, even Eric Berman, have gathered ourselves, and we are back in second quarter, Upper Dublin, 14-9 after the big and one by Kukla. With it is Griffin Penspeen. He gives it back to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan out to Colbrenner. Colbrenner back to Moore, and now with it is O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, Kukla. Kukla, Ryan Mulroy. Mulroy gives it out to Pensabine. Pensabine. He's going to give it to Mulroy. Mulroy, he's the only freshman on the court right now for Upper Dublin, and he has really starred in his varsity role as a freshman. Played a lot of AAU ball over the summer and the spring, and he's really ready for this varsity role. He has proved it, and that's why he's still getting adequate minutes. Another three for O'Sullivan. Another three drops for O'Sullivan. He is having himself a night right now with uh, eight points on the game. Uh, another three ball for the possible future Cornell quarterback. As now the shot, and they're going to call a foul, it looks like, on Upper Dublin. So, Pamelia, or no, not Pamelia. Hapro Horsham's going to go to the line. That's Schauser. Noah Schauser, he, although... Not very, uh, not very tall compared to most guys that take uh, the opening tip. He has a lot of bounce as Chris Colburner. He's finally going to get a break today. He has been awesome defensively. Show us, sir. He's very good at driving. One of, if not the biggest threats for this Happer Horsham team. The Hatters, they really like Show us, sir. They really like to depend on him as he gives them one there at the line. Now going for a second. And it's good. Mulroy going to give it to Noah Lee. Noah Lee driving down the floor and getting past half court. Lee going to get off to Mulroy. Mulroy now. He's going to give it to Pensabine. Pensabine looking. And ball is tapped. Trying to get the save. Now Happer Horsham watch out. Ball flies into the audience. Actually just ahead of it. It goes Upper Dublin's ball. Upper Dublin to inbound now, O'Sullivan. He's getting covered by Pamelia. 
O'Sullivan, he's going to drive inside, take another shot, and it's a foul. Give him two at the line. Very good play there by O'Sullivan. He takes advantage of the height mismatch, drives inside, draws the foul, goes to the charity stripe for two now. And it's good. Uh, Upper Dublin's got a one touchdown lead over Hefro Horsham, something they could not have done uh, last time because they did not play them in football because Hefro forfeited the rest of their games last year after like an 0 4 start. So Sullivan makes two at the line. And oh, now he's going to slide in. And it is going to go out of bounds on him. We talked about Ricky Henderson earlier. Now looking like Kenny Lofton with the foot first slide. Mulroy doing his jumping jacks, trying to block the uh, inbound. Not going to go. Full court trap for, by Upper Dublin. Doesn't work out. Now driving. Schultz are beautiful behind the back move. Oh, that might have been a travel, but it's not going to be called. Schultz are. Looked like he wanted to take the shot, doesn't. Krishan Avery with it. Avery fakes the drive inside. Now he wants to go inside. No, he doesn't. He wants to give it out to Sam Fink. Fink, they're passing it around now to Daniels. Christian Daniels, he's going to give it out to Krishan Avery. Krishan Avery drives. No, he doesn't. He passes it to Fink. Ball goes up for Dublin's way. Hepper Horsham. Game would probably be a lot closer if they just cut out the little mistakes, giving away a lot of turnovers right now. It's all about discipline. Need discipline in order to be a winning team. There's a foul there on the ground, so it'll stay Upper Dublin basketball. A lucky break by the cards, as that ball very well could have been stolen away. And with eight fouls, that at Upper Dublin, they're in the bonus. Well, Upper Dublin with nine fouls are in the bonus, but Happer Horsham also in the bonus with eight. And again, we still got two minutes and 51 seconds here in the first half. First shot, it is good. Number two, and it is true. Hepper Horsham, they're going to inbound it already. Daniels almost gives it away, but Shaw's are able to corral it in. Scholzer, he has it again. And it's going to be a reach-in foul there on Noah Lee. Coach Monahan not happy with his player there. That's now double-digit fouls for Upper Dublin. They have one less foul than Hatboro Horsham does points. And, uh, oh, so 18 points total. We're getting close to that over-under. So the first... First shot by Schaulisser goes in. Now two players back. So bringing them in will be O'Sullivan. Upper Dublin, they want to have all hands on deck if this doesn't go in, but it does. No need to worry about it. Full court press by Happer Horsham. O'Sullivan, he's going to dribble with his left. Now goes behind the back with his right. Fink, he's on coverage. Good moves by O'Sullivan. Ball gets knocked away and driving now. Schoeser, and he's going to rise and dunk it in. Oh, my goodness. What a thunderous slam there. And now ball stolen away. You can feel the momentum also start to go away from Upper Dublin as two straight turnovers. Schoeser, he just dunked it on the last possession. Will we see something like that again? Well, we got the shot here by Dickus. Very high, doesn't go as it's going to be a foul on, looks like Krishan Avery, Upper Dublin. They're going to have it, and they're going to march all the way around down the court because they are in the bonus. A lucky break for UD. I don't care which team you're rooting for. That was just a really nice dunk right there. They're going to send no lead to the line. Probably a smart decision considering he hit his last two. 2.03 left in the half.
A shot. And it's a little heavy. And with it is Daniels. So Schoelser has it. In case you weren't really worried about his athleticism, now you have to be after that dunk. Fink. Fink, he's going to give it away to Dick. Uh, to D Didis. Didis to Schoelser. Schoelser driving with his left. Kicks it out to Didis. Didis back to Schoelser now. Didis, he has it. He wanted to get it to Avery. Doesn't end up having it. Now Avery does have it. He's going to lay it up. Doesn't go. Now a foul on Upper Dublin. So he's going to go to the line for two. That's just an unlucky break right there. But they had three guys on him. And that was just bound to be a foul of some sort. The Upper Dublin crowd barking at Avery. Let's see if it works. Nope. Not on the first one. They're conferencing, deciding what they want. <laughs> and whatever that distraction was did not end up working out for Upper Dublin. Avery steals it. Avery misses. Then he gets his own board and gets it in with his own putback. Padding the stats, why don't you? Hepper Horsham, they now cut it down to only a two-point lead for Upper Dublin. A very sloppy end of the first half. Now with it, 107. O'Sullivan, mid-range J, right at the line, not gonna go. Ball bounces off Daniel's face, now into Avery's hands. Didis has it, he gives it to Sam Fink. Number 50, Sam Fink with it. The Hatters have the ball with under a minute left, under 50 seconds left to be more specific. Didis, he has it. Hatters coach telling him to take their time. Daniels, he gives it off to Didis. Didis, back out to Avery. Avery to Daniels. Daniels, now to Schulzer. Fink, pump fake, not able to get a jump there. Now, pump fake by Schulzer. 25 seconds left. Fink, looking for something. He's tightly covered. Schulzer, he's covered by Mulroy. Good screen, but they're going to call it a moving pick. With 13 and a half seconds left, Upper Dublin, they're going to have the last shot here if they are not, uh, not, oh wait, sorry, that's a foul. So Upper Dublin, they're going to get free throws. My mistake. So a big mistake there by Krishan Avery. Or no. Legal screen, yeah, no. No, no, what am I saying? That is not a foul. At least not a personal or team foul. This game has been all about momentum. Carry momentum here in the second quarter. 11 seconds left. Ball goes through the legs of Kukla and goes into the hands of Schulzer. He's going to drive. Two seconds. One second. Shot. It's blocked at the end of the half. What a play by O'Sullivan to take us into the second half. Upper Dublin 21. Hapro Horsham 19. Thank you for joining me here in the booth, Brian. At the start of the second half, we're going to have Eric Berman with us making his basketball debut. Now... For these eight minutes, go to the bathroom, grab your popcorn. We'll be right back.
Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third quarter of Upper Dublin Basketball. Eric, what have you thought about this first half? You know, I thought at the end of the first quarter it was going to be a rout, a blowout for Upper Dublin, but Hapro Horsham, uh, Hapro Horsham came out in the second quarter fighting, and now it's anyone's game. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hapro Horsham didn't bound it, faked the pass. Now with it is Fink. Sam Fink, he's being t uh, tightly guarded. As shows her, he's guarded by DJ Cerisier. A surprisingly quiet game for Cerisier so far. Looks to have a better second half, I believe. As now back with it, Dittis, he gives it to Schoeser. Schoeser, out to Dittis. Dittis, driving in, shot, nothing. But rebounded. Now second attempt, not going to go as Kukla has it. Now he gives it to Cole Brenner. Cole Brenner going to take it up for Upper Dublin and quickly give it off to Cerisier. Cerisier back to Cole Brenner. And now with it, O'Sullivan. Going with the screen and too heavy. It's going to go Hapro Horsham way out of bounds on UD. You know, you have to admire the way Hapro Horsham has played, you know. Upper Dublin hasn't really played any differently. Hapro Horsham has been playing great defense, getting open shots, and it showed on the scoreboard. Hapro Horsham has sure adapted since the first quarter as Fink gives it to, P to Pamelia. Pamelia. He's going to drive past Cole Brenner and be cut off by O'Sullivan. Now inside. And the layup, not going to go. Second chance opportunity once again now. If you win layups, usually you win the game. Fink. Yeah, and that's an up and down. No, it's a foul on Upper Dublin. Wow. Call not going Upper Dublin's way. They're going to call it in the air, of course. If it's not an up and down, that's got to be a shooting foul. No, it's on the ground. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. So an interesting call. Pamelia with it now for Hapro Horseshoe. We just got to move past it. Fink. He's going to give it off now to Dittis. Dittis to Pamelia. Pamelia going with his right hand. Now he gives it back off. And it's poked but not stolen away by Cole Brenner. Pass now. Schoeser jumps over everybody and lays it up and in. Schoeser with some sort of wrapping on his left finger. So you might not see many jump shots from him with that. Now with it is Pensamine. Pensamine to Cole Brenner. Cole Brenner, he gives it back to Pensabine. Now O'Sullivan, it's tied up, 21-21. Now the reverse, 21, number 12 with it. O'Sullivan, baseline, Jay, that's going to go. Sorry, a free throw, Jay. Sorry, my mistake. Pamelia. And with it now, Pamelia, he's going to stop on a dime. Still going, trying to get past Cole Brenner. Not going to be able to. Ball gets stolen away by O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan already with 12 today. He gets fouled and going to get two more at the line. You know, do you think it's a strategy? Upper Dublin has really tightly guarded number 50. Was it Sam thing? He has been tightly guarded. Do you think it's a strategy or do you think it's just a coincidence? Well, I mean, of course it's a strategy. You pick out guys before every game that you got to focus on. Focus players. Teams don't just say, well, the Lakers happen to have LeBron. We'll just play him normally. No, we got to keep LeBron contained. And that's exactly what Upper Dublin's trying to do with guys like Sam Fink. As the first shot's up and good for Colin O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan with 13. Second shot up and good. The Hatters, they're going to inbound the ball right into the Upper Dublin bench. As it goes Upper Dublin's way, a miscommunication there. So Upper Dublin's gun to, going to take it, and they're right under their own basket. Or right under the Hatboro Horsham basket. As in the post, it's actually going to be thrown way out now. Chris Colebrenner with it. Colebrenner, he's going to give it to Kukla. Kukla. O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan, driving, and it's not going to go. Foul on the shot, and Seen Kukla is going to go to the line for two. 
I mean, seeing Kukla is what three inches taller than everyone else on the floor right now. I mean, he should get, he should get every single board out there. So Upper Dublin, seeing Kukla, he's going to be at the line. He made his first two, and he missed right here, just a little short off the front iron. Second shot, that's heavy, and Fink with it, and they're calling a foul there on Cerisie. So, with it is Happer Horsham, foul is on the floor, as to inbound it, it's going to be number 12, Kyle Dittis, for Happer Horsham, right in front of the student section, Pamelia, he's going to get it, he is their primary ball handler, he's been doing it pretty much all game, he's going to drive all the way in, not going to get it. Kukla, he has to save it, he does. Colbrenner, he now has it. And O'Sullivan was open, but Colbrenner not able to see him, not able to get it to him. Backdoor pass right there in the post. Little drop step, and it goes right in there for seeing Kukla. Upper Dublin, they're going to be trapping here. No, they're just going to press, actually. Fink, he has it. He's going to be guarded, face guard. Oh, ball off and diving like Greg Luganis for the ball. Not going to be able to get it. And that was looking for a foul here, looking for the call. So going to be inbounded to DJ Cerisie. Cerisie, he's guarded by Fink. And now with the Pensabine, beautiful pick and roll. Kukla not able to finish it on the back end, but it's stolen away. O'Sullivan going to make up for the mistake. Upper Dublin now up 29-21. Colin O'Sullivan, he is doing excellent as a much-needed timeout taken by Hatbro Horsham. Now down by eight. It was just a tie game, 21-21, but now eight points unanswered. Upper Dublin up 29-21. And you have to think for Hapro Horsham, what are they going to do? Well, it's simple in my opinion. They got to stop with these turnovers. You know, dude, I totally agree with that. Also, I think they maybe should play some sort of defense on Colin O'Sullivan. He's kind of taking over the game right now. They, they have to have an answer for Colin O'Sullivan. So timeout coming to an end. Cardinals up 29-21. Hatters down 29-21. The Hatters of Hatboro Horsham, classic rivals of Upper Moreland. My father was a uh, Golden Bear basketball player. And our AD, Mr. Highland, was also a Golden Bear player as well. That's correct. He also coached Upper Moreland for a bit as well as an assistant. So now... With it is Hatboro Horsham. Kyle O'Sullivan on the coverage of Sam Fink. Fink, he has it, and he's going to give it off to Pamelia. Pamelia, he's going to cut to his left, and this ball thrown at the ref's head. Oh, whoa! They're going to say it was tipped, and it's going to stay Hatboro Horsham ball. As a little conference with the ref. Monahan not liking that call, but can't change the past. You can only affect the future, and let's see if Upper Dublin can do that. I like that slogan. And oh, beautiful play by Christopher Colbrenner. No arguing that one there. Clearly off of Hapro Horsham. Colbrenner intercepted it, was falling out of bounds, so he jumped, threw it off the Hapro Horsham player's legs, and the ball goes harmlessly out of bounds. Upper Dublin takes it. Like you said, affecting the future. That's exactly what he did. Now it's up for Dublin's ball. Chris Colbrenner. He's going to give it off to DJ Cerise. Still looking for his first basket of the game here in the second half. Pensabine. He's going to give it to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan has a bit of has a bit of space. Shot might have been open for Cerise. He decided not to take it. Colbrenner going to drive inside and gets rejected by the rim. 
Pamelia. He's going to give it off to Schulzer. Schulzer now gives it off to Sam Fink. Fink to Pamelia. Pamelia now giving it off to Christian Daniels. Daniels now back to Schulzer. Schulzer to Pamelia. Now with it, Hepper or Horsham. Schulzer once again. And the shot is up from the post. Not going to go. Little turnaround, Jay. Not falling for the Hatters. Now driving inside, Griffin Pensabine foul, not an and one as the Upper Dublin student section wants it. Just two shots here, 29-21, Upper Dublin still up, and they can get it to double digits if both go in here. First shot goes in now for uh, Pensabine. Sorry, I had I to remember which Pensabine it was. I almost said Mason, but no, Griffin at the line. The second shot, a little bit of a laser shot. Still going to go in, though. As now with it is Hapro Horsham. O'Sullivan, he's helping trap. Fink has it. Fink going to give it back to Schulzer. That's clearly who they want the ball in. Uh, who they want the ball to be in. I don't know. As Schulzer, he has it. Avery, Christian Avery. He gives it there to Christian Daniels. That earlier, that was a uh, classic tongue twister right there, wasn't it? And they call a foul. What CJ was now looking on DJ Cerisier, I think. Or no, on Gr on Griffin Pensabine. It's on me. We know it was on the Cardinals. Quickly inbounded to Daniels. Daniels to Schulzer. Schulzer, he has it. Hepro Horsham likes playing tag with the basketball. As they are still passing around. No, turnaround jumper by Daniels. That's not going to go. So, Andy Don Jr., also known as Colin O'Sullivan, with the, foot, with the basketball. He gives it to Chris Colbrenner. Now back with it, O'Sullivan. He's having a great night. He gives it to Cerisier. Cerisier faints like he was going to give it to, to Colbrenner as it's a timeout. To, Yes, a timeout taken by Upper Dublin. We're going to take a quick break. Upper Dublin 31, Hatboro Horsham 21. So with it is Cerisier off the inbound by O'Sullivan. DJ Cerisier dribbling, and he's going to go to the right. Now he's giving it to the top of the key, Griffin Pensabine. Pensabine to Colbrenner. Colbrenner, he's looking for a passing lane. He gives it off to Cerisier. Cerisier driving in, gives it away. Now Colbrenner back to Cerisier. Cerisier. He's going to drive with his left. He's going to go all the way through. Beautiful playmaking. Hitting the deck is Pensabine. Not able to get it. Nice jump by Cerisier to get over him. Now with it is Schulzer. He's dangerous when driving inside, but he's not going to be able to get this one. Ball goes right into the hands of Pensabine. Upper Dublin going down fast. Now going to slow it down. Driving. And O'Sullivan a third three. No. 
board by Pensabine. Now Cole Brenner, wide open, not going to take it. He only he has two today, although he did say he wanted to be a more defensive player. But an and one. Do you smell what O'Sullivan is cooking? As he's going to go to the line for the three-point chance. O'Sullivan well into double digits now. Has to be around 17 or 18, by my estimation. Came in to this third quarter with 10. I believe that that might be six in this quarter, so probably 16. Two late substitutions as Brady Fogel going to come into the game for Upper Dublin. He's a swing player going up and down from both JV and varsity. Meanwhile... Jack, uh, meanwhile, going in for the game is a player not listed on Max Press for Hatboro Horsham. In fact, Brady Fogel is my neighbor. In fact, Brady Fogel is Eric's neighbor. He wanted me to say that. Now with it, Schulzer. He's being tightly guarded by Mason Pensabine. Fink with it. Sam Fink, he's covered by Brady Fogel. Elbows him on. Elbows in, arms out there by Fogel. Classic defense. Daniels, he's going to give it in. Mulroy's going to get the foul call there. Killed there on him. Thought that it was going to be clean. Looked disappointed. And is going to the line now. Hapro Horsham down by 13 with 23.1 seconds left in the third period. Upper Dublin with six fouls, one away from the bonus. Meanwhile, Hapro Horsham with four, two away. Or three away, I should say. The first shot, not going to be able to go for Hapro Horsham. Number two on its way. And it is not going to go either. A bit of help there by the Upper Dublin student section. Now Mulroy. He's going to give it off. Ball going around. Four quarters here. Mulroy back to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, the lead scorer, scorer here today. He's going to travel. So .8 seconds. Time for a heave. Let's see if the shot can go off in time. Shot does. But it's going to be short. So a very different story going into the fourth quarter than it was going into half. Upper Dublin takes control, now up 34-21 going into the fourth. We'll be right back. So O'Sullivan, he's going to give it off to Cerisier. DJ Cerisier, he's dribbling in, doing all sorts of moves, but he's going to end up passing it off. Pensabine, he gives it to Mulroy. Mulroy, faints like he was going to give it off, then he does. Now Mulroy back with it. Ball bounces off of O'Sullivan. He is able to recover his own mistake. Pensabine now. 
driving in. It's going to be a foul as a fancy putback attempt there by Mulroy. Not needed as going to the line now. That is Coleman Zamborski. Two shots here for Zamborski. Upper Dublin, 34 to 21 the score. You have to think if it continues in the trend, we could be seeing a few more minutes for guys like Zamborski and Fogel. A few of the younger guys on the team getting some more experience, getting their varsity letters. And again, just any varsity minutes, even if your team's up by a lot, down by a lot, getting in there, and I'm sure guys like uh, man on camera, Brian Portney knows it's always good to get varsity time in whatever sport you can be in. Even if it's a lot, even if it's a little. So now, Scholzer, he has it. Upper Dublin being less aggressive with their press. And Scholzer has it again. Uh, pass, Daniels. Daniels going to take the shot, and he's clearly hacked there by O'Sullivan. So he's going to go to the line for two. Or that slap from here. Sad part is the mic probably didn't pick it up. Christian, not Christopher Daniels, you wrestling fans, going to take the shot. And it goes in. <laughs> I'd be impressed if the mic didn't pick that one up. <laughs> Let's see if student section will give it again here. <laughs> the shot is going to go in a little <laughs> too early. As, whoa, ball popped up 20 feet into the air. And now Fink with it. Pamelia, Pamelia to show us, sir. Remember, folks, we got a basketball game here. Pamelia, he's being tightly guarded by O'Sullivan. Driving through the lane, a little heavy there on the layup. Daniels now throws it behind the backboard, but it's still going to go Happer Horsham's way. So Christopher Colburn are going to come in for the freshman Ryan Mulroy. And now the turnaround jumper. Going to go in and out, but good rebounding there by Schoeser as Fogel goes to the ground. He's back up fast, though. Now the layup. Again, not going to go. Fighting for the ball. O'Sullivan, he has it. He's going to dribble with his left. Now his right. Back to his left. Then his right. And ball going to go out of bounds. Going to stay upper Dublin's way. So Kukla, he's going to come back in the game with 6.40 remaining in it. Fogel going to come out. They set up a screen there for Kohlbrenner, but goes to Cerisier. Cerisier to Zamborski. Zamborski to Kohlbrenner. Kohlbrenner got the screen by Zamborski. He's working on Fink. Kohlbrenner looking, giving it off to Kukla. The jumper from Kukla. That's a little short. No, Not as short as Eric. <laughs> I like the ball movement from Upper Dublin there. You know, I would like to see more ball movement from Hapro Horsham. I think that will get them back in the game. Now with it, the shot by Scholzer. He doesn't get it, but he's able to save a beautiful jump throw fading away. As now with it, Fink. Fink to Pamelia. Pamelia out. Did his nothing but net, just no rim to go with it. As Colbrenner, he's driving, and he pretty much slams it into the ground trying to go for a pass. Upper Dublin going to take a timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout along with them. We'll be right back with 5.48 left in the fourth.
Back now with 548 in the fourth quarter. Hatboro Horsham two inbound. Didis. He's looking, he finds Schoeser. Schoeser has quieted down since the first half. A nice move there by Pilmas, but not able to get past Colbrenner. Really aggressive. Cerise not able to get it, but a travel there. And wow, Schoeser knows it too. Disappointing disappointment written all over his face there as he throws the ball away into the air. You know, I think Hepper Horsham needs to start shooting some threes, and that has been their weakness throughout the game. I don't. I think they may have made one or two threes. They're going to have to start shooting more to get back. Foul there on Hepper Horsham. One away from being in the bonus. Might have, it looked like it was an intentional foul, and not actually that dumb of a play, because, hey, now whenever you foul, you know they're going to be going to the line, and, hey, you're down late in the fourth quarter. That's what you kind of want if you're going to foul. So now Cerise, he gives it off to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan back to Cerise. Number zero, DJ Cerise gives it to number four, Chris Colbrenner. Back to number 12, O'Sullivan. And hey, number 22, Coleman Zamborski with it. Now Colbrenner, he's going to sloppily give it off to Cerise. Not going to call it a kicked ball. And mad at it is the head coach of Hapro Horsham, Zamborski. Going to give it back now to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, he's going to give it to Cole Brenner. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah, that is a charging foul as Dennis took a right hand right to the face. Ooh, that's got to hurt. And Dennis, he's looking. And he's going to give it off now to Schoeser. Schoeser, he's driving. He's going to give it off to Didis. Didis now. He gets an and one and silences the student section. So going to the line is going to be Didis. 36-25 uh, upper doubling up with 4.43 left. 11-point game, but hey, makes it here. Could knock it down only to 10 with 4.43 left. Meanwhile, my color commentator Eric is playing with tinfoil. Ball bounces twice, not going to go. Upper Dublin, they have it. Driving down the floor with a lot of pace now. Pensabine going to give it to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan on the Cardinals logo. As he's going to get it back. Flying Cardinals going to get it to Zamborski. DJ Cerise, he's going to float it over and give it right in there to Kukla. That's exactly what you need to do. Classic Drew Stover play right there. Now with it, Hatboro Horsham, Pamelia. Anthony Pamelia, he's been the primary ball under and he's had a pretty solid game facilitating for this Hapro Horsham team. 38-25, 3.55 left, and you can see it written on the face of the Hapro Horsham head coach. He is not happy. Another turnover for the Hatters. And now with it, Upper Dublin, as it looks like it's going to be O'Sullivan to inbound. O'Sullivan inbounds it to Cerise. And DJ Cerise has it. Driving. Floater. Not going to go. Meanwhile, the shot by Kukla. Not going to go. But third chance. Is it the charm? Oh, Cerise wanted to pull it. But he ends up pulling it back. So now O'Sullivan. He's going to give it back to Cerise. Fumbles it for a second, but gathers. Cerise. He gives it to... Pensabine. Pensabine sets the screen for Pensabine. Now O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan to Cerise. Cerise. Jab, step, jab, step. Jab steps again. Now he goes with the dribble, though. Kukla. Layup. Not going to go. Fourth time's a charm. Yes, as DJ gets his first points of the game late in the fourth quarter. A problem being aggressive now with their full court press. Griffin Pensabine. He's covering Schoeser. 
as Sam Fink with it. Now with it, Pamelia. Pamelia, he's going to give it off to Scholeser. Scholeser, he's backing down, taking the shot. And a weak foul call on number 21, Griffin Pensabee. Hatboro Horsham is worn out right now. They cannot get anything going on off. And we got to speak up and not whisper. Oh. <laughs> Keep going, Eric. I said, as I was saying, Hatboro Horsham is worn out right now. They cannot get anything going on offense. They're just sitting there shooting, getting lucky foul calls. And on defense, they cannot get any defensive rebounds. And they're just getting outworked right now. There you go. You got to get your presenter voice going. You can't just sound like this during the game. Second one goes down there for Hatboro Horsham. As with it, O'Sullivan stays cool, calm, and collected in that trap. Able to get it off to Mason Pensabine. Pensabine back to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan pump fakes the pass. Now he pump fakes the turn. Eric opens my algebra homework. Now back to Mason Pensabine. With it is DJ Cerisie. Cerisie. And he's not going to shoot it. Mason Pensabine. Oh, he has the shot, but not going to take it. He gives it to Kukla. Now back to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan inside Griffin Pensabine. He's got the layup and the two for UD. I made a uh, mistake with an earlier call. I'm not in algebra. I actually take geometry. Meanwhile, this shot is not going to go. Tight defense there by Christian Daniels. And oh, oh, wow. Beautiful behind the back move there by O'Sullivan. Got a visible lean back by Eric as O'Sullivan. He's still controlling the ball. 124 left in this game. Upper Dublin just milking it away. 42-26. And O'Sullivan just back and forth, back and forth. Now he's going to give it off. Pensabine to Pensabine. Griffin Pensabine with it. Pensabine going to give it out wide to Cerisier. No one covering Mason Pensabine. Upper Dublin, well, there's no shot clock in high school. No need to shoot. And now Kukla. He's just going to hold it. Now dribbling. With it again is O'Sullivan. The Little Red Rocket with it. Now he gives it to Pensabine. Pensabine to Pensabine. Pensabine then gave it back to Pensabine, and now with it is Cerisie. Cerisie to Pensabine. Ball gets poked by Schosser, but back with it is Mason Pensabine. DJ Cerisie. It's a lot of passing. O'Sullivan, in, that might have been the least effort I've seen in a pass in a while. As 18 seconds, whoa, don't go in the backcourt. O'Sullivan, we're really trying to make this passing interesting. He's wide open. Will he shoot it? No. Now, right at the basket. Walking away. Oh, wait, no. He pumps him out and finally takes it. That'll do it for the game. Off the scene, Kukla shot and make. Upper Dublin wins 44-26 on C.J. Ambrose. Joining me in the first half was Brian Portney, along with, uh, in the second half, Eric Berman and Zachariah Holman, also helping us out with the broadcast. We'd like to thank Jason Trannis and John Scorey for helping put this together. Please give us a like and potentially subscribe to our channel. Guess what? It's free. And we will see you next time with Upper Dublin Basketball at home at Upper Dublin. I'm CJ Ambrose.